Hey guys, what is going on? In this video, we are talking about a penny stock that is in the sports betting industry. This stock is expected to grow at a huge rate, all because of the bright looking future for sports betting. We will be going over who this company is, some of their products, and some recent Q3 financial results, also some recent news on this company. So stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this. And I hope it's not too much to ask for an early like on this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. I would very, very much appreciate the support so, so much. And if you watch this whole video without jumping out, I appreciate you. I appreciate any viewer as well, but just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you guys too. And also remember, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not telling you how or where to invest your money. I'm only here to post my own thoughts and opinions with any stocks I may do a coverage of. That being said, let's jump right into the video. So who is Ellis Game Technology? They are one of the fastest growing and technologically advanced sports betting and iGaming full service platform providers in the regulated B2B and B2C markets. They focus on driving results for casino and leisure gaming operators with retail and digital solutions for Europe, North America, and around the globe. Also, I just want to inform you real quick that Ellis Game Technology was recently known as New Gioco Group and they just changed their name about a month ago. Now, the products they offer are the iGaming platform, sports betting, risk management services, and virtual betting. Their iGaming platform is already integrated with multiple payment and geolocation providers, one-stop shop iGaming platform with plug and play system, simple integration with future third-party content providers, casino, poker, bingo, lottery, and more, and advanced management tools to easily get the most from your operation. And as you can see, this is how the iGaming platform does look like. Now we're looking at their sports betting solutions. With more than 150,000 events per season and more than 90,000 live events, Ellis Game Technology boasts a vast and highly competitive spectrum suite of bets, sports events, and gaming, sorry if I say this wrong, accoutrements. Now the system provides two web form channels, pre-match and live center and mobile app for iOS and Android. Designed with attractive graphics and rich in content, gaming modules have an extraordinary array of features that simplify account balance updates and allows for simultaneous access to the entire schedule. The interface is flexible and can be adapted to the needs of each PVR client. Now, Ellis stock did close at a price of $4.26 a share on December 18th, and they were up almost 20%, you guys. And they have been in a nice steady uptrend for the past month, which they are up almost 200% for the one month. And Ellis does have a market cap of $71.14 million. Now we're here on Ellis Game Technologies presentation. Sports betting legislation is accelerating in the U.S. Ellis Game Technology is under contract in two states and currently in progress in additional states. Regulation means protection for consumers and tax revenue for state and federal coffers. Ellis Game Technology is leveraging proven experience and advanced technology to target both tribal and non-tribal clients in the U.S. market. Now, in this industry of sports betting, it is said that there is going to be extraordinary growth. Taking a look at this article, 18 states representing just over 30% of the U.S. population now have regulated sports betting markets with several more on deck. The District of Columbia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Washington, and Virginia have passed legislation, and 16 additional states have active sports betting bills, according to the American Gaming Association. In the coming years, industry authorities expect more than half of the states in the U.S. to offer legal sports betting. And this is something I have been seeing in news headlines with many other states that are looking to accelerate with sports betting legalization. For example, there's Ohio, Missouri. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo indicates he's open to legalize online sports betting, so it does look like that the doors are open for consideration for sports betting. All stakeholders will be paying close attention to state legislators that may accelerate sports betting initiatives to generate new revenue to help mitigate losses caused by the pandemic. On Wednesday, the New Jersey Division of Gaming Enforcement reported $2.6 million in sports betting revenue in April, which was an 87.6% decrease from April 2019. When legislators return in earnest, we firmly believe the number of states ready to consider accelerating mobile sports betting and online gaming legislation to drive tax revenue will expand substantially, which is what Matt King, CEO of FanDuel, told ESPN. 
And we also see the industry recognizing this a unique moment in time and working more collaboratively to set aside minor differences and get bills across the finish line. Across the board, it's a time for pragmatism and we see that producing a real opportunity for significantly expanding the map. Now, how has Ellis Game Technology been performing financially? Well, they did see their revenue soar 44% in Q3. So Ellis Gaming Technology did post third quarter results. This was about almost two weeks ago, but we're gonna go over this and see how well they did. So they saw their revenue jump 44% year over year on the back of strong growth in its web-based gaming turnover, which more than doubled. For the period ended September 30th, 2020, the global sports betting and interactive gaming technology company posted $9.7 million compared to the third quarter in 2019. Now the CEO, Mike Chiavarella, said the company's revenue expansion reflected very strong growth in our web-based gaming turnover of more than 150 percent and they have surpassed their goal of reaching 100,000 online gaming accounts before the end of 2020 and this growth was offset by a decline in their land-based gaming turnover which has been impacted by the pandemic the ceo mike chavarella continues to say nevertheless we continue to perform exceptionally well compared to our industry peer group and have begun to see improvement in this channel as certain brick and mortar operators reopen as a result we believe we are very well positioned for strong organic growth heading into 2021 Moreover, we continue to carefully manage expenses and have a solid balance sheet with over $10.5 million of cash and cash equivalents as of September 30, 2020. We have also fully repaid our convertible debentures since the end of the third quarter and have no long-term debt. So this is extremely well that they have been able to pay off their long-term debt. LS Game Technology added that the CEO was very excited about the outlook for the business as the company has built an efficient, fully integrated omnichannel gaming company. And his excitement for the company does reflect in the fact that he did purchase some shares a few days ago. On December 15, 2020, LS Game Technology sourced after the company discloses that CEO Mike Chevarella bought 58,000 shares in the sports betting platform provider late last week. Ellis says its focus is on driving results for casino and leisure gaming operators with retail and digital solutions for Europe, North America, and around the globe. That places it right smack in the middle of a growing industry. So this CEO is betting on the company's future looking bright, which I have no doubt that this company will perform very, very well. As you can see, with gaming up in all segments, social distancing still the norm, and analysts warming up to the hotels, casinos, industry, Ellis Game Technology could easily see revenue grow with a compound annual growth rate greater than 40%. Now, besides the CEO purchasing some shares, there has been some other activity going on with insider buying. As you can see, a significant level of insider and 10% owner buying going on between as early as December 3rd and as recent as the 16th. The company's VP of Technology and 10% owner, Gold Street Capital Corporation, picked up 100s of thousands of shares. So obviously, these insiders do believe that this company will do extremely well these next few years. And it does look like things are going on the right path because of the fact that the company is seeking its first U.S. sports betting license in Washington, D.C. This could be something to monitor heading into 2021, especially since there's a new incoming CEO starting in January. This new upcoming CEO has served as an independent strategic advisor to the company since March 2020 and in September 2020 was appointed president. And he does have quite a lot of experience in the sports world, in the gaming world, digital betting, iGaming, and so much more. Prior to joining Ellis, Mr. Monterevdi served as a U.S. president of Sport Radar, a global leader in real-time sports data and analytics, where he led the strategic direction of the company in the newly regulated U.S. betting market. He was a key contributor in signing exclusive distribution deals with the NBA, NFL, and MLB while turning the company's U.S. media products and business. From 2015 to 2018, he served as SVP Global Digital Products for International Gaming Technology where he led the real money and social gaming global businesses. So I'm very excited to see how this new CEO in January 2021 will apply his ideas and his strategies and so much more from his previous experience into Ellis Gaming Technology for much more growth to come. It's going to be really, really exciting to see how he operates this company. Now we're nearing the ending of this video and just going to speak a few thoughts for me on this stock. I do believe it is a buy for me personally. This company, in my opinion, will see massive growth 
and so much opportunity with sports betting, iGaming, virtual betting, and so on because a lot of states are now looking to consider it as we saw in the news headlines. Also with the new CEO, I'm very impressed with his background and like I said, I'm excited to see how he plans to operate the company and what strategies he has in for future growth of this company. Not to mention the sports betting industry is just a fast growing one. The US sports betting market is expected to be worth about $1.5 billion next year and $2.75 billion by 2023 according to a study by Gambling Compliance. The future market could be vast. By 2030, H2 Gambling Capital estimates it to be worth $81 billion. That is absolutely crazy. So obviously there is a lot of room to grow for this company. So yes, I am going to be entering a position in this stock. Well that brings us towards the ending of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it for you all. Please comment down below what you think about LS Game Technology stock and what you think could happen for them. Your thoughts are always, always appreciated. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. I would very much appreciate the support so, so much as it helps the channel a whole lot. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.